Good evening to everyone. My name is Dhanlakshmi Swaro. I am studying Tart Beacon Computers in TSW Audis Surya Paint. I would like to explain about the GST. Before going to discussing about the GST, we should know the what is mean by tax. Tax is compulsory payment made by the every residents in India. And also it is ordinarily used to express the sovereign power to raise the revenue for the government expenses. And before introducing the GST in India, there were multiple taxes are there. Service tax and central excise duty and customs duty. These are all called indirect taxes. In India, GST has introduced on 1st July 2017. But the purpose of GST introducing and in implementing in India is one tax and one nation. And the main purpose of the implementing this is only one of the indirect tax is applicable for the throughout the India means all over the India. All over the India will be followed by the GST only. And also who will be paid the tax? Tax will be paid by the buyer itself. It means when they are consuming one good art services and the time the buyer will be pay the tax to the government. It means the buyer will be paid itself to the government. And there are three most important concepts are co components are there in in GST. That is one is CGST and another one is SGST and one more is IGST. These three are most important components are in GST. CGST refers to Central Goods and Service Tax and IGST refers to State Goods and Service Tax and UG IGST refers to integrated goods and service tax. These are all most important components because before going to applying the GST, we should we should clear cut about these three. Okay. So in GST, intrastate and interstate are there. In for intrastate, CGST and SGST is applicable for the intrastate and only one IGST is applicable to the interstate. It means what is mean by intrastate and interstate? Means intrastate means the buyer and seller. What is that? Buyer and seller. It means the supplier of the goods and consumer of the goods belongs to the same state. So that's why the applicable to the interest rate. It means the transaction taking place in within the state is called interest rate. The transaction between two states, the transaction taking place in between two states, that means in interest rate. Thank you for giving this opportunity for explaining the, about this topic.